the goth clan. Big, mean, and black and green. The goth clan are the biggest and surliest of a big and surly species. They wear black, considering anything brighter to be betokened unnecessary messing about, and wear horned helms. The better for headbutting anything stupid enough to get in their way. These two details exemplify everything one needs to know about the goth clan and their no-nonsense approach to war. Goths prepare to fight on foot, typically in huge, big-titty, ground-pounding mobs, somewhere between a military formation and an all-out riot. They always bully their way to the front of the charge. Their eagerness to get stuck in the eclipsing considerations like personal safety, overt belligerence, and the face of imminent peril is actually such a point of pride to the Goths that they have been known to take their choppas to anyone using the terms such as take cover, or maybe we should think about this in their presence. Despite their preference to hit enemy lines and rolling tsunami of bellowing warriors, the Goths are not above hitching a lift aboard a battle wagon or speeding truck, provided it will get them into the fight faster. They equally have a soft spot for the Death Dreads, Gorkonauts, and Stampas, all of which can easily trample their way into the fray. With metal fists swinging in terms of weaponry, Goths prefer a good, solid choppa and a gun that fires as many shells per minute as possible, preferably whilst sounding an unholy din. Power claws also feature strongly amongst their ranks, for what self-respecting Goth could resist wielding an even bigger fist with which to crump his unsuspecting enemies. Goth clan warbands make prodigious use of Stormboy Core. It is an irony utterly lost on the traditional Goths that the very nature of their clan spawns such a high proportion of youths. Orc youngsters seeking to rebel through an excessive boot polishing parade drills and aggressive saluting. Still, when several dozen hurtling goth orcs strapped to rocket packs lead the charge, it is not hard to see why the peculiar storm boys retain such favor with their clanmates. Beyond this, though goths harbor a deep distrust of anything they see as mucking about. Broadly speaking, this incorporates particularly flashy and unpredictable technologies and anything other races would describe as strategy or tactics. The Goths pride themselves on being the orkiest of orcs and will gladly seize on any excuse to prove their claim with feet, fists, and tusks, and choppas, battle scars. The rate of attrition amongst the Goth orcs is nothing short of apocalyptic. Those who make it through the headbutting contests and pit fights typically don't survive their first few battles amid the headlong charges into enemy guns. Those who do, though, grow rapidly bigger and wear their scars and bionics with arrogance and pride. Not only does this lead to an overabundance of goth knobs and to the clan producing some of the galaxy's most brutal war bosses, but also sees entire mobs of Scar Boys take to the field. These boys swagger about covered in hard-earned battle scars and big rusty metal staples, each one a trophy to their formidable powers, prowess at shrugging off catastrophic injuries whilst beating their enemies to a pulp.